our leaders, more especially the Minipas governor for it. But that is not enough for me to worship a human being. I can't do that. After Sim Fubara's earlier statement where he warned the State House of Assembly that he is the one keeping them in the House of Assembly, that they do not exist, before we hear all he had to say, let's hear the reaction of the APC or Wike in disguise because Wike is behind them. The chairman of the APC caretaker committee in River State held a press conference where he called the governor of River State stupid. He didn't use the word stupid, but it's just a synonym. He called him a dunderhead. He said, quote, We have directed members of the River State House of Assembly to commence the impeachment process of a comatose government. The governor's head has become bigger than his pillow. He does not respect the law. He does anything he cares to do. We will not sit here as River's people to see River State become a laughing stock in the Committee of States. When we have a governor who does not know his left from his right, a state as crucial and all-important as River State turned out a dunderhead. We cannot accept that. Our charge to the assembly is to immediately commence an impeachment. And if they don't do that, there is what they call party discipline. We shall invoke the relevant section of the constitution." Unquote. There are many other things he said too long to be included in this video. The caretaker chairman of the APC had to resort to insults on the governor of River State, Sim Fubara. They've taken this to a whole new level. They are desperate to grab power in River State. It is very, very clear. He's talking about River State people. How is he sure that he represents the entire River State people? There are divisions in all parties, but what is clear here is that Fubara hit a chord. Yes. Judging by their reaction, you can see that he actually hit them below the belt where they didn't expect because the law says, that's if the law still applies in Nigeria, the law says that any lawmaker that decamps, abandons the party on which platform he was elected to office, must lose his seat at the State House of Assembly, even at the Federal House of Assembly. That's what the law says. And like Fubara said, it was a political solution, not a constitutional solution. Tinubu has no power to determine what happens in the State House of Assembly, who will lose his seat or who will not lose his seat. That's the matter for the court. In fact, in this situation, if the governor truly wants to use his powers, he will simply prevent them from entering the State House of Assembly because, according to the law, they have automatically lost their seats. Anyway, what is happening in River State can be likened to two thieves who stole something and they are fighting over how to divide the loot. Yes, they rigged the election. Many of them have confessed that they didn't win an election. They know the person that won the election and the party that won the election in River State. So they know they didn't win. They cannot concentrate on governance. They are just fighting everywhere. Now, let's hear what Fubara said that made the PDP chairman to start raining insults on him. The young people, those group of men who claim that are assembly members, are not assembly members. They are not existing. I want you to be on record. I accepted that peace accord. I, I, I accepted that peace accord for, to give them a floating. That's the truth. There was nothing in that peace accord that is a constitutional issue. It's a political solution to a problem. And I accepted it because these were people that were eating in my house. So what is the thing there? Yeah, we might have a division, but I believe that one day we could also come together. And that was the reason I did it. But I think it's according to a time when I need to make a statement on this thing. So that they understand that they're not existing. The existence is me allowing them to exist. If I did recognize them, they are nowhere. There is nothing wrong in one helping anyone. But nobody takes the place of God in any situation. And so long as I'm concerned, God is God. God can even Bring your enemy to open a door for you. God can.
can do anything he wants to do when he wants to do it. It is only for us to realize that God will not come down from heaven but will pass through man or woman to achieve his purpose. So for that reason, when we act, we act as human. Human vessels that God have used and not seeing yourself as God. I want this to be I want to say this clearly that we do appreciate the role our leaders more especially the middle pass governor project but that is not enough for me to worship a human being I can't do that if that is my sin if that is my sin yeah let me answer it in the last day in heaven, not on earth. Because I'm not answerable to anybody on earth. On earth is in heaven. But I know that I've always taken the path of peace. I've shown respect. I've subjected myself to every meeting of reconciliation for peace. And what happens? It is, each time we come out from one meeting, we have faced 